in order to uh, understand the difference between absorbed dose and collisional kerma, let's um, take a look at what happened when the incoming photon beam hits a medium, for example, a bucket of water. So the, the black line, again, represents the photon incoming beam. So as it goes through the water, it become, the length of the photon becomes smaller and smaller, as I draw in here. That's just a roughly to represent uh, it gets attenuates as it goes deeper. And as it penetrates through the water, uh, secondary electrons began to build up. For example, when the photon hits the surface and you have some interactions, as it goes deeper, your interactions that generates the secondary electron, the blue, the blue dots here, they become uh, larger and larger because the electrons can ionize other electrons and the photons and can also ionize electrons, etc. So uh, the gist is photon always decrease and secondary electrons start to build up. So at a plane, they equal to each other. And this plane is called uh, charge particle equilibrium, CPE plane. And what happened if we go deeper than this plane, uh, then those secondary electrons began to decrease because of they got attenuated too. And they got attenuated same as the photon incoming beam get attenuated. So I use these uh, green dots also uh, the represents the um, secondary electrons but they are smaller than uh, they are, I use green to kind of uh, represent it's decreasing. And blue is increasing. So if we were to draw the, the absorbed dose or the collisional karma as our vertical axis uh, and the, the penetration depth as uh, our horizontal axis, so what happened with the collisional kerma is it always decreased because the photon beams always get attenuated as it goes deeper. But not necessarily the absorbed dose. The absorbed dose, it starts from nothing. And when the, by nothing, I, I don't actually mean zero, but uh, uh, it starts from a very small amount. But as soon as the photon hits the water, the secondary electrons began to generate. So we have the absorbed dose started to build up. Uh, at a point, at the CPE point, the dose equals, the absorbed dose equals to the collisional kerma, and then the dose will also decrease, same speed, same slope as the collisional kerma. So past a CPE, they both decrease. So in summary, so when photon passes through beam, through a medium, and there are three distinctive regions. One region is called the build-up region, where the absorbed dose is smaller than collisional kerma. And there is another point or plane, it is the charged particle equilibrium point, where the two equal. Only, they only equal at this point. And uh, they're passing the CPE point. They're, the region is called transient CPE region. The region represents the absorbed dose is bigger than the uh, collisional kerma, but they both decrease at the same rate. 